on a really bad day, all I do is this. So yeah, so it's much better when I get to come out and talk to people out here. Is, are you a little married couple? We are married. Are you married? Is this your honeymoon? No, it's actually our anniversary. Oh, anniversary, how long? Seven years and they said it wouldn't last. <laughs> Look how cute. Now, where are you from, little married couple? Jersey. Jersey. Thank you for bringing your weather, too. We appreciate that. Sup? Sup? Peace out. <laughs> I learn things. I learn things because when I'm inside the manor, I get to listen to people all the time, you know, and I learn things like, you know, peace out. Sup? 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 I can only see people for a short while, so I don't know exactly how they do it or exactly how they say it, so I'm gonna learn different bits and pieces of it. Speaking of bits and pieces, how many of y'all know uh, Madame Leota in, inside? Madame Leota, yeah? Now, how many of you have been here to the manor a you know, couple of different times? Like over the years and centuries or, or your decades maybe for some of you. Here's, here's what I'm gonna ask y'all. How many of you remember that Leota used to just sit on the table? That she didn't move, you boys know this? Did y'all know? Yeah, okay, she used to not be able to move, but now, have you noticed that she can float? Here's the thing. I'm gonna tell you something about Leota. The reason Leota was in that crystal ball was because of me, and I will tell you why. Leota used to be just like, you know, all of you. She could walk around, she had a whole body and everything. She just was not a disembodied head, right? But she, I, you need to pipe down, I'm telling the story. That's what Gracie gets on that. So day and night, night and day, no matter what time it was, Leota would march up and down the hallways and she'd be banging the drum. And last Halloween, tambourine, blah, blah, blah. And I said, Leota, girl, I love you, I do. But you need to pipe down because even dead people need to rest, right? She didn't stop. So I said to her, I said, Leota, honey, something's got to happen. So pipe down. She still didn't stop. So I got this woman to put a spell on her and stuck her head in the crystal ball. And she could sit on that table and bang the drum and hit the tambourine and call those from beyond the last Halloween, blah, blah, all she wanted. Then somebody says to me a little bit ago, they said, Carlotta, did you realize that Leota can now float? And I said, no. So I went in and I took a look myself and now that she can float around it. All I got to say to all of you is this. If she learns how to float her head down a hallway, I got a baseball bat with her name on it. <laughs> because I like to get my rest when I can. And let me tell you something. Do not worry about Leota. Do not worry about her. Because if I do that and pop her back into that room and she's just a head laying on the ground, she will find a way to get down that hall either way. And I know because she'd be the type to be like, she'd be like, <laughs> she'll be pulling herself along with a man. Like, and so do not worry. So if you come back to the manor and you go into the chamber and you see that Leota is not there, just look on the ground. She's gonna be somewhere around on the ground because she found a way to float out into the hallway. Y'all know what I mean, all right? So that is my word to all of you. Leota, just saying, I have no patience for her anymore.